Hi everyone! So this is the second installment to my 2014 favorites. This is going to be a skincare, bath, and body video. And I will also be holding another giveaway. If you missed my last one, I just uploaded it today. I'm going to be filming and uploading this video today as well. I have a giveaway in my makeup favorites and then I will also do a skincare giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned at the end of this video to find out. And let's get started! By far my favorite remover of 2014 and I have tried at least five cleansing oils in the past few years and this this is just it tops everything this is the DHC deep cleansing oil I heard about this from one of my favorite bloggers online and she has the same skin type as I do I have really oily skin um, this does not break me out or nor is it too thick of an oil this breaks down my makeup super easily so efficiently this is fairly cheap as well and you get a lot of product you can get this on amazon and you can also get it in store at an at a local wajimaya or like an asian beauty store i'm sure they have it so yeah my favorite cleanser of the year has to be the mario badescu enzyme cleansing gel i have switched between uh, the ren clear calm clarifying clay cleanser and this one throughout the whole year but but I've used this way more I think and I always keep going back to this because it's just so gentle there's a really short relatively short um, ingredients list to this as well as every Mara Badescu product there's nothing to it it's just a really basic um, non-stripping cleansing gel that I just love using and it's really refreshing as well especially if you use glycolic acid after and then I have another cleanser that I use three times a week I use this every other day and this is the Ren micro polish cleanser and this is really good especially if you have oily skin because it just helps to really deep cleanse your skin throughout the week um, it has microbeads in it, alpha and beta hydroxy acids so it kind of acts as both a cleanser and a toner in one next are toners so I don't have by the way I don't have every single item that I'm about to mention in this video just because I throw away my empties and I try to try out new products throughout the year and if I don't have it on me I will still include it in the video obviously because it's my favorite. My favorite toner of the year is it was the Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner which I also um, have been switching on and off between this it is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix. You can find this at Target for about $12 to $15. And sometimes they're on sale at Ulta for buy one get one half off. So I did stock up when Ulta had their 20% off. It has glycolic acid and also has hyaluronic acid which helps to just um, retain water in your skin and keep it hydrated. And also it's really calming as well. It works really nice as both a morning and a nighttime exfoliator. And I just love this overall. Now on to eye creams. The one eye cream that I restocked on this year was the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Eye Cream Age Delay. First Aid Beauty is one of my all-time favorite um, skincare companies in general and brands. This is packed with active ingredients to help the eye area looking youthful and radiant. Homeostatin, a complex of two natural ingredients along with retinol palmitate, which is great for aging, helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Alpha arbutin and niacinamide, which is one of my favorite vitamins, work synergistically to protect and lighten the del delicate skin that surrounds the eyes. Humectants and moisturizers hydrate and smooth the skin. Eye creams make a huge difference in your skincare regimen if you keep to it. So my favorite serums of 2014 easily have to be my vitamin shop vitamin e moisture serum this has i basically used this before my moisturizer um it has terra bush extract which kind of works just as a uh, hyaluronic acid does just to retain moisture in the skin i used to use the caudalie serum i forgot what it's called the white one in the bottle and then I switched to this because it's just a lot cheaper and it works basically the same and it feels exactly the same on the skin um, so I use this by The Body Shop as well as my new favorite hyaluronic acid serum which is by Filtered Skin. Let me get it really quick because I don't have it on me. So this is a serum. It's called the B5 Serum by Filtered Skin which is actually a relatively new company. This is basically 
a hyaluronic acid serum that just is a drink of water to your face. I always use this after my skin is still damp from my mist that I use after my toner. It just retains water and moisture in your skin, keeps it supple and young looking the more that you use it. And hyaluronic acid is just one of the best skincare ingredients to have in your regimen. This is definitely a must have. So next is my favorite oils. My first one I have to mention is by Boots, where you can get it at Target. It's the Boots 100% Organic Facial Oil, which I don't have right now. And then after that, my next favorite is the one that I'm using currently, which is the Rosehip Oil Organic Cold Pressed by the brand Rosehip Plus. This I love so much. It's just a cold pressed rosehip oil. Um, it's really great for acne scarring, especially if you have texture issues in your skin. has lots of vitamin C to help to brighten the skin and just even out the skin surface. And it helps to also moisturize your skin. I use this every morning and every night right after I tone my face, which I totally forgot to include. Um, my favorite spritz toner to hydrate my face after I exfoliate is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Not a surprise. I feel like this is just a staple in my skincare regimen. There's no harsh ingredients, although they did change their ingredients list this year a few weeks ago, I think. Um, I'm not too happy with that. I'm not sure why they did that, but I still use it and I still find that it works for me, so this is still one of my holy grail items. For moisturizer, I have been using at the beginning of the year, I used my Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This is just one of my favorite overall daily moisturizers um, for mornings. Um, and it's also cheap from the drugstore. You can't go wrong with this, especially. It feels good, especially after you exfoliate your face. This just sinks into my skin, and it just... My skin loves this stuff basically, and it might be a little thick for other people, but for some reason I really like it and it works for me. And in the recent months, I have been in love with Polish Choice Hydrolite Shine Free Daily Mineral Complex Bro Spectrum SPF 30. This is for normal to oily to combo skin, and it's basically a light lotion, a daily moisturizer that also has antioxidants and SPF benefits to it. So I do use this in the winter time, um, aka right now, and it's been a savior of mine. I don't like to use a separate sunscreen in the winter time just because I don't find myself going out side a lot in the winter. I always like to use an SPF in the winter even though I don't go out as much because I even though I do go out, even when I do go out, I still want to protect my face from aging and I always need to have sunscreen because wrinkles is the number one thing that I'm scared of getting in my life. And Polish Choice is also a great skincare company. I highly recommend this for oily skin. Um, moisturizers for nighttime. The one that I have repurchased this year and I absolutely love because of Hey Claire. This is based off her recommendation. I believe we do have the same skincare, no, skin skin type. She has oily skin and acne prone skin as well. So I switched to this. This is the Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Overnight Treatment. So I only use this at night. It has salicylic acid to prevent breakouts and to clear your pores overnight. Um, cucumber and licorice to calm your skin. This is just a holy grail item for me. Um, I just use like a pea, a little more than a pea size of this and I put this over areas that need the extra help, aka over areas that are more acne prone. So on my cheeks and a little on my forehead. And it just, it, it's a miracle worker. Every time I have hormonal breakouts, I always turn to this and it just calms my face. It really does work. So shout out to Claire for the recommendation on this. For sunscreen, my favorite of the year has to be the MD Solar Sciences 50, SPF 50 Mineral Cream. This is a physical sunscreen, so it has a lot of zinc oxide, which is good for oily skin like me and titanium dioxide and I just love this this is a great brand lots of good ingredients um, it's not too heavy it feels really cooling and calming as well which I love in a sunscreen um, because I really hate the smell of sunscreen for some reason and um, I don't think that this one smells like it definitely one to try out it's only 30 bucks from Sephora so on to masks one of my favorite masks of 2014 has to be Lush Brazen Honey Fresh Face Mask. I don't have it right now because I used it up earlier this year, but I haven't gotten to repurchasing a lot of things because 
I'm on a budget, I'm a student, I don't really have a job right now, so, um, so that's been my favorite, and then, what else has been my favorite? Oh, yeah, I mentioned in one of my favorites video, after I went to Hawaii, I stocked up on these masks by the brand Nature Republic. My favorite one by far has to be the Snail Solution Hydro Gel Mask Sheet. Oh my god, I need to stock up on these because Snail Mucin, I believe, is really good for um, repairing the skin's barrier. It's a really powerful ingredient that's that Koreans use that I've come to love after using this mask so I definitely have to stock up in that. It also hydrates and keeps your skin really moisturized and oh my gosh I'm having withdrawals from not buying this again so I'm probably gonna have to restock onto hair care. The one thing that I just blew my mind out of the water um, so I don't really I don't know I'm not a big hair person but after I came across this this isn't a shampoo or conditioner, this is actually a BB cream for hair. This is by Pantene. I know this is a BB cream for hair, but you guys have to understand that this is inspired by BB creams. It's used to repair hair, strengthen against damage, it adds shine, it smooths, it moisturizes, it, adds, it acts as a heat protectant, and it tames flyaways, which I agree with everything on that list. So I basically use this after I towel dry my hair after I put it up in my turby towel and then I just wait for it to become a little bit less damp and then I put this in my hair let it dry for a bit and then I blow dry I blow dry it with half with hot air and then I blow dry the rest with cold air and I swear to you my skin has never looked so silky smooth and it's because of this and I haven't been using it in recent weeks because I just ran out so I do have to restock up on this. My two favorite nail polishes of the year has to be by my favorite nail polish brand, Revlon Color Stay. Um, I have it in Trade Winds, which is a beautiful nude, perfect for my skin tone. And I have a, an Instagram picture of that as well. And I also have an Instagram picture of this, of me wearing this. This is Blue Slate. It's kind of like a navy, like a, a muted navy, light navy type of color, which is so beautiful. It's really sophisticated. My favorite fragrance of 2014, although I've had this for I think about two years now, um, I definitely have been reaching for this more often throughout this year, and this is the Yves Rocher Evidence Eau de Parfum. I'll list the notes in a slide right now. <sighs> I always get compliments on this fragrance if you're wondering. Um, okay. For bed and... I don't know why I put bed. For bath, I don't have a favorite body scrub of the year. I haven't been, I haven't really been using body scrubs, honestly, so... Um, but my favorite body lotions have to be Yes to Carrots. The Yes to Carrots um, body cream. I don't remember what it's called, but I've gone through tubs of them. The one that I use when I'm just in a rush. favorite hand creams of 2014 are the Body Shops Hand Hemp Protector and my Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. I use this one at nighttime and then I, no, I use this one at nighttime because it's in a pot and it's kind of unsanitary to use during the daytime. And I always use it right before I go to sleep and it just keeps my cuticles and my hands really moisturized as I sleep. Um, this one is excellent throughout the day because it's so compact. Not only that, but I think this is the best <laughs> hand cream that I've ever come across. And if you know me, I'm obsessed with keeping my hands wrinkle-free, especially in summertime when I'm out in the sun all the time. This just keeps my hands very moisturized, and as well as in winter. And that basically completes my 2014 favorites of the year. And for the giveaway, I've decided that I'm going to give away another of my favorite serum by Filtered Skin. This is the B5 serum that I mentioned earlier. Um, it's unopened, unused. This is going to be for one subscriber. And then you will also get one of my favorite lip balms. This is the Lemon Lip Balm by Seal Bigelow. It's about seven bucks. But I'm going to be giving it away because it's one of my favorites as well. And then a sample size of my favorite micro polish cleanser by Ren, which actually lasts a pretty good amount of time. $10 iTunes gift card. Also, 
Amaro Badescu Citrus Body Cleanser. All you have to do is the same thing as last, last, the last video's giveaway is to be a subscriber to this channel because this is only going to be for my subscribers as well as follow me on Instagram. That's all you have to do, including comment down below on this video telling me your Instagram name and telling me that you're entering this giveaway, not the other one. If you want to win both giveaways, you just have to comment on both videos and do the other things that I've told you. I will announce the winners sometime after the 7th of January when the contest ends. This is only open to US residents, so I'm sorry about international people. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a wonderful holiday season. God bless you in 2015, and I will see you next year.